Welcome back to Sturge Topia. This is Sturge swimming in my favorite pool under my favorite waterfall. And today I'm going to tackle, or at least show you my progress, in the taming of Escalarius. That crazy creature that kind of looks half robot, half soldier. I don't, I don't know what it is, honestly. There's no way I can tame it. The, the thing's level 43, but I want to show you at least my progress in this mission and maybe give you a few tips and tricks and some hints to speed it up for you. I wish I'd known early on. Hopefully this will be somewhat informative, even as I climb my crazy treehouse here and jump off here at the dead end, coming up into Orpheus's cave on ancient Greece. Once you've found your way over here to ancient Greece and Orpheus's cave, just off towards the entrance, you will find Peric. Peric is just hanging, hanging out here doing these strange dance moves, some sort of new ancient Greece dance moves. And he is going to give you this mission. He's the NPC to give you the uh, To Tame Ascalarius mission. And in, after doing that, you've got a series of things that you're going to have to do. I went through in the past video, the Whip It Good video, and did some of the taming that needed to be done for the Laura, which uh, you need to tame 20 of those. And now I'm just working on the, the Cyclops portion of this mission. But let's take a look at where we can go to get ourselves a little crossover after we've accepted this mission. So I see to tame Ascalarius here, all I'm working on is the last bit of the points that I need to get this particular, uh, to be able to go in and get the power core. Actually, I won't be able to go in um, yet because I don't have the power core. But once I get this completed, uh, I'll have the, uh, the power core and I'll be able to go and tame Ascalarius which can't quite do at this particular point. But that's not that's not the issue here. Let's look at that crossover mission. You're going to come to the Kamba teleporter and talk to Haresh and pick up the Crystal Hoarder daily. And I say I wish I'd known this uh, previously because then I would have been doing these in conjunction with each other. And then I'm just going to go and kill Argus. You could do this. Argus is sort of that mid-level, and I'll show you the point system in a minute for each of those after I go grab some ammo. But... Uh, are just are easy for me to do and so then I can get the crystals that I want from the crystal hoarder daily and then I get credit toward my points for the tame uh, Ascalarius mission which is kind of cool and the Brontes are going to be the fastest way to do that so let's take a quick look at the point system and as always best place to come next island helper you got to come here to uh, get the information so here you I have highlighted uh, to tame Ascalarius what you need to do is tame 20 Laras, which is easy, super easy, and then 500 points from hunting Argus, Brontis, or Miriannon, and that's all you got to do. And I think the 500 points for me is the, probably the most challenging. So let's come down here to the point system. I'm going to do basically Argus, Scout, Bandit, Fighter. Those are the ones I'm going to be able to get uh, to... I'm actually tough enough to do that. Everything else, you know, the Mirianans, 1.7 for the week. The soldiers, you know, 1.8. And then they go up to, I think, 4. Uh, the Mirianan Marauder is 4.4. And then the Brontes are probably a lot better. You need half the amount of that you need. If you had to do it with the War Chief, you'd have to kill about 93 War Chiefs, and you'd get it done in no time at all. Uh, it's going to take me about... Well, it actually has taken me about 6... Uh, six days ish doing the daily uh crystal hoarder daily to get enough points for the tame ascalarius mission and it's not as if you didn't already know that i was sort of a nublet you know a, the end of a noob or whatever you want to call it but here i am getting my credit for the crystal hoarder daily shooting arches and bandits and you can see i'm getting a, call, a little bit of points and it's it's definitely worth it i it's I'm not getting really super good return on Argus. I'm wondering if Miriana and Brontes have much better loot, higher markup loot, and so forth. I do get Bloodstone Crystal, which is pretty darn valuable. And so, and this just turns out to be like a three-ped mob, but for the most part, it was, uh, if I didn't get the crystals from the Crystal Hoarder daily, the Tate Mascalarius would be, yeah, it would be a lot harder to do because I, I would, you need some sort of incentive to get, you know, when you're getting 65 to 70, sometimes 80% return. The best I think I've ever gotten is about 80, 85% return. So, but this is the crossover. And I think that crossover mission is really cool to do because you're doubling down. You're always, you're getting double credit. And that's what I always say is just double dip where you can and not in the potato chip dip. As for the taming portion, the 20 Lars, you're just going to come here to Paradise Landing if you haven't already done this. 
portion of the mission if you're just trying to figure it out as it goes come here you're going to just run out the uh, other side of the paradise landing area and jump off the cliff like i like to do because that's pretty much just all i know and run over to the laura pet enclosures and as they slowly render you will see but you need to to get the tameable alara pet to spawn you'll have to kill 10 of these once you kill 10 then the little one will uh, the little lara pet will the tameable one will appear with a little heart next to it and then you can tame it and one final thing to note about the lara pets once you've tamed 20 of them you can't spawn them. They cannot be spawned on the ground when you go to turn them into Parrick to get them to work. They just, it's just one of the conditions. And that makes good sense because currently they don't have really any level. They don't have any kind of experience uh, or any needs or anything like that as a pet. And so overall, those are the two requirements. 20 Lara pets and you need to kill enough of the Argus, Brontes, or Mirianans to get enough points to fulfill the mission requirements and i haven't gotten there i really wanted to show you that by the end of september i was really aiming for these kind of be the culmination of the cool missions that i had been working on for so long and it's just that i don't i don't have enough time to play sometimes you know work gets in the way of play time and entropia time so but i appreciate everybody watching uh, the likes the subscribes and all the comments to all these videos it means a lot to me we're going to wrap up this community recognition program with one more video but I thought I'd bring you at least my progress with this particular mission because it was a, it's a lot of fun and I really would like to get the power core and go in there one day and actually tame the Ascalarius for the pet. So this is Sturge signing off until next time. Ciao.